everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 science fiction thriller Cerebrum, a film that is co written and directed by Arve, and it stars James Russo, Christian James, and Alexis Lemire. Now, this science fiction film focuses on a father and son's relationship. They have a fractured relationship uh, due to um, their past. Uh, the son blames the father for, you know, uh, the breakup with the relationship with the mother, etc., etc. However, the father is um, a scientist and he is experimenting um, on wanting to find basically a cure for Alzheimer's. And he's been working, he's been dedicating his whole life to this. And he wants his son to come out and help him with the experiments and he's offered to pay him money to do so. Once there, a tragedy takes place and it's left to the son to try and figure out his father's research um, and try and find uh, a cure for Alzheimer's um, before it's too late. Right, what are my thoughts on Cerebrum? Well, I like a good intellectual science fiction film. Generally speaking, if done right, they can be really interesting watchers. However, I, I, I've got to be honest to you guys, I found this one a little bit dull to watch. Um, I thought the performances for the most part here in this film were actually, you know, fairly watchable by everybody, generally speaking. Um, James Russo is always watchable, um, and he, you know, he's while he's not on screen um, as much as you would like, or what he does give in the way of a performance, you know, adds uh, a little bit of gravitas to the film. Christian James, if you like, is, is is left to carry much of the film and he's playing dual roles to some degree. Now, the science here is... I, I, I'm, I'll, I'll do a terrible... Um, I won't do it justice if I try and explain it, if I'm being particular, but I'll try my best to simplify it in the best way. <laughs> and to be fair, the film doesn't explain it particularly well. In regards to the science that's taking place, you can kind of um, take the memories and the conscious consciousness of one person and kind of pop it in somebody else's if that kind of makes sense um, so for example you know you can kind of you know swap somebody's mind into somebody else's body and that's those uh, and there are some as you could imagine wanting to use these experiments for financial gain so he's got he's got this whole scenario the sun where he's got to kind of fend off all these people that are vying for this research and this technology and things like that. And he just basically, he wants to finish his dad's research because he's kind of given some truths about his mother that he didn't realise and he's blamed his dad for all his life. Um, so when he learns about what actually went on with his mother, he feels compelled to finish his dad's research. So he's trying to hold off all these people that are trying to, you know, get in there and take the research for their own uh, dubious means. Um, and he wants to do the right thing by this research and find this cure for Alzheimer's and things like that. It's just, it's kind of done in a way that's not particularly interesting and not explained. And when they do explain it, you get these massive exposition dumps and it kind of confuses you even more. It's one of those science fiction films where you wish they'd tell you a bit more, but when they do, you wish they hadn't. Um, which you know it doesn't it doesn't help the film at all when they do it, um, and then you've got this dilemma with this son, who isn't particularly gifted in um, and in regards to science and research and things like that. Initially, when he's there, he's just there to make some money off his dad, and then when he has to continue his dad's research, it's almost like he becomes a genius overnight, and you're just like, well, that again, that doesn't make sense. And then he's having these conversations with himself, essentially, who is his dad. Uh, I, I know, it sounds confusing. Trust me, it's even more confusing when you watch the film. And the only way you could tell who's who is, like, he does... He, the actor, uh, Christian James, cr tries to impersonate James Russo's, like, southern twang in his accent. And it kind of comes off a little bit odd. He's like having these. He's recording himself having conversations as one person and then as another, and you see this all. And it just, and it's a confusing film that's not particularly well explained, 
um, and there's not enough going on in the film to make it worthwhile and watchable in my opinion so um, I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 10 uh, a decent idea, decent concept it's just executed not particularly well um, so that is my review for Cerebrum I hope you liked it I hope you found it useful thanks for watching everybody of course I will be back with plenty more content on the channel very very soon Thank <music> you.